Yo, so I'm grinding my way through MLB The Show 21 without putting any money into the game, and I know a lot of y'all are as well. So in the comment section below, let me know if you want to see more of these videos where I'm going over tips for no money spent players, good things in the game to do, what I would recommend doing, and then maybe me doing them and showing you kind of what it takes, how it's done, stuff like that. I guess we're going for... 402 or more likes on this video maybe 102 or more subs on the day comment down below if there's any questions or stuff you want to see as a no money spent player type of video that you maybe want to see out there from me here on this channel what we're going to be focusing on today is something that y'all want to make sure you are doing okay Make sure you are doing the Daily Moments program. There are free diamonds, free packs in here. If y'all missed out on Jason Giambi, you can see you can still get this card. There's May Evolution packs in here that have Matt Kemp and Madison Bumgarner. We'll show y'all that in a sec. There's stubs. There's packs. Again, right here, you get another one of those. You can get both of them. But this is a very, very good program to do. We have this Gary Sheffield right here. More packs, more stubs, and a universal icon as well as 5,000 stubs. So there's a ton of stuff going on, and y'all need to be making sure you're keeping up on this and going through the May Daily Moments program. Now, I guess I can kind of just explain how this works. So every day, there is a new moment for you to do. And at the start, you're getting one per moment. You get one program point per moment. You earn one per day. Now, you might see, hey, there's 35 here. There's definitely not 35 days in May. But I don't know exactly when. I want to say maybe the last week or so. Uh, I think that's kind of what it was for April. I don't remember the exact amount of days. I wish I could remember. But my brain doesn't work too well. I'm sorry about that. But the last week or so, they make each of the moments worth two. So, you know, the last seven days, if that's the case, if it is the last week, that's 14 points right there, which can help you catch up if you missed a few days or if you're pretty far behind, it can help you actually complete this one. So, like I said, you want to be making sure you're doing this every day. As y'all can see, it expires on May 2nd, 11 a.m. By the time you guys see this video, there's actually a good chance that this moment we're doing today is already expired because I do my videos a day in head. So... You might have missed a day already, but if you start today doing them every day, then you're not going to be far behind at all. You'll just be one behind for now, which really is not too big of a deal. But you want to make sure if you're doing anything on MLB The Show, make sure maybe you're just starting with the daily moment because this program has a ton of rewards. And what I want to show you all now before we get into the moment, as you all can see, okay, there's this Giambi here. But then there's also Matt Kemp and Madison Bumgarner. You know, 74 bronze, 76 silver, another 72 a bronze right here. Like, that doesn't seem like very good rewards, but wait, there's more. There's a reason that they are good rewards. If you go from the Daily Moments program to the player programs, y'all can see, okay, we already did Jason Giambi. He was one of the ones for April. Y'all can see stubs, packs, and everything like that in these programs as well, in addition to that daily one. And we have Jason Giambi right here, 85 overall. If you guys unlock the bronze Giambi, you're able to do some moments for stage one, which will help you unlock stage two, which is where you're able to progress more into the program and then get that diamond Jason Giambi. There's missions for you to do if you want. There's moments for you to do if you want. And then you can also do an exchange. So that's one right there. And then we also have the Matt Kemp and the Madison Bumgarner who are new in the May program. As y'all can see, more stubs, more packs. And you can see it's separated up here. We have stage one and then we also have stage two. And same with the Giambi one. To unlock stage one, you just need to do a few moments. Right here we have a couple moments. Matt Kemp had two hits, scored three runs, and drove in two. Playing as Matt Kemp, tally two hits in one game. And then playing with Kemp, tally ten total bases in three games. And if you can get those two moments done, you unlock stage two, which has missions. You can see hits with Kemp, home runs with Dodgers. And again, these are online for those two. But then you can see three extra base hits with that rookie Kemp. Can do it in any mode cpu extra innings conquest online if you want to br and then total base with dodgers that one is also offline so typically the player programs will have online missions and offline missions to help you mix it up in addition to moments 5 10 15 20 from the moments right here again you got to beat stage one before you unlock the stage two tasks and then we also have an exchange 10 points right here i would recommend probably not doing the exchange unless you're really having trouble with the moments and the missions and stuff like that but you will typically be able to get it done without doing the exchange usually with not a lot or any issues at all 
And I want to show you guys the cards too. We have this Matt Kemp here, diamond hitting, diamond fielding. And again, you can parallel any card in the game, get a max of plus five to all of their attributes to make what's already a pretty good card even better. So I would highly recommend doing these. And we're not even done. We still have Madison Bumgarner to show you guys too. More stubs, more packs. Stage one for him. Got a couple moments. You need to tally eight innings pitch. That's a long time. Rookie difficulty without giving up two runs. And then tally nine strikeouts without giving up two runs. So hopefully you can get that done in three innings. But it might be a little bit tough. And then once you do those two moments, you've unlocked stage two. Got to get innings pitched online and one win online with a San Francisco Giants pitcher. And then the innings with the rookie Mad Bum. And then we have a couple offline missions. Same thing. Ten strikeouts with him. Any mode. One complete game with him. Any mode. Minimum, though, for this one. Eight innings pitch. So I feel like they should not have Conquest on the word of play. I feel like that's just wrong. You can't do it in Conquest. More stubs. More packs. And then you can unlock this all-star Madison Bumgarner. Four-seam cutter. Sweeping curve change. And a two-seamer. 97 stamina. Velo's not amazing. Break is pretty good. Control's all right at 80. And then also, y'all can see he's a decent hitting pitcher. 49 and 46 for the power. 22, 15 for the contact with 14 vision. But it's really nice to be able to get multiple diamonds through the program. We have Matt Kemp, Mad Bum, Jason Giambi, if you missed down on him in April. And then again, as we saw before, if we work our way all the way towards the end, we can get this Gary Sheffield. 92 overall not even at the end only at 25 it's not even at the end you know at the end is just extra stubs xp packs i said xp i mean yeah, i guess you do get xp by by playing the game but i meant packs and stubs plus a nice little icon so we're gonna go ahead try to do the daily moment for y'all in this video i feel like it's a little bit on the longer side for maybe what it needed to be but for all my videos this year, just with having a lot of new players in the game, you know, people playing the game for the first time, maybe not familiar with Diamond Dynasty or familiar or even knowing about the daily moments, I really just want to try to make sure I'm explaining everything as detailed and as clearly as I can. So I'm sorry that the video is a little bit on the longer side, but like I said, I just want to try to be as clear as possible, especially for people who are unfamiliar with everything that's going on. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast. To access the moments, to access the daily moment, you got to go to Diamond Dynasty, single player modes, moments, and then you will see it right here, the daily moments. There's going to be one every day. This one expires 11 a.m. They expire at the same time every day. I think that's my time. Um, so I think it's 11 a.m. my time. I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that's my, my local time. So uh, that's going to be noon Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 Mountain, uh, if you guys are wondering when they expire for yourself. But again, there's a new one of these every day. And if you miss it once it expires, you can't go back and do the other ones. So you really need to stay on top of these. We got to pitch two innings. Don't give up one hit. Obviously, y'all don't have to do this. But for me, I like to intentionally walk the first batter of an inning just because I feel like it helps the moment go a little bit faster because I'm pitching from the stretch now instead of the windup. Plus, something that's really nice is sometimes you could even get a double play. So now George Springer could, go, uh, could ground into a double play. If we strike him out or just get him out, that's fine too. It just I feel like it's nicer for me doing pitching moments, pitching out of the stretch because I like having it go as fast as possible. You know, I feel like when you're pitching from the windup, it just, it, it wastes unnecessary time a little bit. But with that being said, especially for moments where you can't give up runs, it's different for this one because it's only don't give up a hit. But for ones where it says don't give up a run, that's a little bit different because when you're pitching with a runner on base, it makes it a lot more likely that you're going to give up a run. But for something like this, I figure, hey, if I give up a hit, I give up a hit. It's going to be the same whether there's no one on base or somebody on base as we walk him right there. I'm going to try to get out Gritchick. And there we go. Striking out Gritchick. One inning to go. Striking out Kevin Biggio. Now we're a double play away from this moment being over. I'll take a strikeout one out to go here. Nice. We got it done. So there we go. We got our deadly moment done. I really didn't take that long. Only a couple minutes. And that's all you have to do every day. If you're doing the moments every single day, you're going to be getting free diamonds, free stubs, free packs, where you could be getting more diamonds. So if you guys are no money spent, especially, I recommend it for anybody, honestly, but especially someone who's no money spent, you got to be staying on top of the daily moments program. Like, comment, subscribe again. Video a little bit on the longer side. I just really wanted to try to be as detailed as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.